Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So finally, Microsoft is rolling out Edge version 119, which is our latest release, which they pushed out late yesterday in my region on the 2nd of November. Now, as always, to double check we have this latest version, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. Now, at first, um, I must just apologize if my voice sounds a bit croaky. I have a touch of the flu. So I hope I can get through these videos today without coughing and spluttering, but obviously I'll try my best. Now, once this update has been applied, latest version in bold, 119.0.2151.44. Now, this is a bit of a different version upgrade because for the first time, as long as I can remember, um, there are no security fixes that are listed in the release notes for version 119. Now, I don't know if somebody has just forgotten to add them, because I find it strange because um, Chrome included 15 security fixes with its version 119 upgrade earlier this week. Um, but nonetheless, be that as it may, and um, if there are um, possible security fixes that have rolled out that just haven't been mentioned, um, we also get various bugs and performance issues that have been addressed, which is normal. So just double check your browsers up to date because if there are security patches, um, this will plug those um, security vulnerabilities and also will fix performance issues and bug issues in the browser. Now with that all out of the way, um, when it comes to so-called new features, um, this is what I would consider to be um, what I would term a light release. Not much really going on with front-facing features lately um, in the desktop browsers and I think that's because of the shorter release schedule which is now every three to four weeks. And out of the four official feature updates for version 119. Um, four of them are mainly geared towards administrators, which I don't think are going to be really of interest to your average home user, but I will mention them quickly. First of all, we get compression dictionary transport support. That's the first a new update. Then we get behavioral changes to the before unload event. Then there's a policy for additional capability for administrators to manage sidebar apps. And then um, if we just head to our settings and our sync page in your profile, um, if you are using Microsoft Edge Enterprise, there's updates to Edge Enterprise sync settings page. So those, as mentioned, mainly geared towards administrators. Now, there is one new feature you may be interested in, and it's regarding the split screen feature, which is a feature that lets you view uh, two tabs simultaneously in one window and is handy for multitasking as many of you will know by now and uh, um, a couple of weeks ago I did post that um, they had rolled out the new vertical view where you can switch to vertical view and then over and above that now um, there are split screen restore improvements where Microsoft says now after the browser is restarted and the previous session is restored the split tab will also be restored. Now, I'm not seeing this if I just close the browser and relaunch Edge. It doesn't restore my split screen. But how, how I am interpreting this is that sometimes when your browser closes unexpectedly and you reopen the browser, you get this restore pages yeah, in the top left, which you can click on, which will restore your previous session. Now, that's how I, I am interpreting this, where if you were in split screen, before your browser closed unexpectedly, then if you click on restore, it will also restore that split screen session. So that's how I'm figuring that new feature out, split screen restore improvements. And then over and above um, those official new features, I have noticed um, one or two other changes. Now, I did post on this a day or so ago where um, there's a new tab menu now in the tab strip, which places some shortcuts to um, for a new tab group. So you can basically open up a new tab group. You can view your history um, from the um, from the uh, new tab menu. You can head over to um, Bing Chat and you can see your recently closed. But I'll leave that video down below. And then something else I have noticed, if we just quickly head over to our edit background, I have noticed that quite a lot of the um, static backgrounds, I'm not talking about the uh, video backgrounds for the new tab page. I'm talking about just the still images. A lot of those have been removed with this update. I've only seen one or two where there used to be quite a few. So I thought that was interesting and that's a bit of a deprecation. And I certainly hope that Microsoft does bring a couple of still images because I use these basically on a day-to-day -day basis. But nonetheless, 
And um, those are the kind of differences and changes and improvements I have seen with version 119. And as mentioned, no official security updates listed, but if anything does change regarding security fixes, I will obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.